Okay, well, hey there, my name is Chris Bryant, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to extract the groove from a live audio drum loop using Beat Detective, and then apply that groove as a groove template to your own MIDI performances. Now, using groove templates to quantize your MIDI performances is a excellent way to eliminate sort of that very sterile, computerized feel that can result when we quantize all of our MIDI performances using just the standard Pro Tools grid. And so in Pro Tools, when you quantize MIDI, you always have the option of choosing your quantize grid. You can either just select absolute 16th notes, 8th notes, quarter notes, and so on, or you can select some preset groove templates. In this case, what we want to do is we want to create our own groove template using the drum loop that we're going to be playing our MIDI performance to. So the result of doing this ultimately is that your MIDI performances have the same feel, the same push and pull as the live audio that you're working with. Okay, so let me just explain to you what I've got in front of me in this session. I have, I'm going to close this synth for a sec, I have a drum loop just on a stereo drum track, just a stereo two bar drum loop. And let me just play it so you're familiar with what we're working with. Okay, so first thing we need to do is extract the groove from this drum loop. So I'm gonna open up Beat Detective and I'm gonna to go to Groove Template Extraction. I'm gonna enter in the values here I'm going from bar two to bar four. Now I'm going to analyze this groove using the sensitivity slider. And I am going to click the extract button. Now, normally I could save this to a folder if I want, save it to disk. But in this case, I am just going to save it to the groove clipboard. So just bear that in mind as we go. I've just saved my extracted groove to the Groove Clipboard. Now, let's go in and record a little bass line. Now, to do this, I called up the Vacuum Synth, and I'm just gonna use the default number one bass sound. Here we go, I'm just gonna put it into record mode and lay down my bass line, okay? There we go. Pretty straight ahead. So now, let's take that bass line and let's look at what happens when we quantize it to just standard 16th notes. Let's call up our quantize window here. I've selected the notes and we go apply. Now, if you noticed, they moved ever so subtly and that's because what quantizing did was it moved the attack the time that each one of these events happened in time, it moved them to the nearest 16th note on the Pro Tools grid. Now let's play that and see what that sounds like. Okay, so you could get by with that, but it's not what I want. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unquantize and I'm going to go and select my Groove Clipboard. So now I'm gonna be using the groove that we extracted from this very drum loop, and I'm gonna go Apply. And you may have even noticed that the notes moved a little bit more this time than they did when I quantized to just 16th notes. So now let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, definitely sounds better to me, but what I want to do, some of these notes sound a little bit chopped off. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go in here and select these, and let's go in and just change our duration. Using legato and gap, let's hear how this sounds. This one definitely grooves better than the straight ahead 16th notes. 
Okay, now just to drive this home a little bit further, is let's do the same thing, but let's do it with a percussion track. So in this case, I've set up a little tabla track, and the tabla sound is coming from the expand right here, tablas. And I'm just going to lay something down, and hopefully, we'll come up with something interesting. Okay, now let's quantize those to perfect 16th notes and see what that sounds like. Okay, it's not actually that bad, but let's try it with the groove clipboard. Now, I definitely hear it and I definitely feel the difference having quantized it to the groove clipboard instead of to 16th notes. It doesn't sound quantized to me when I quantize it to the groove clipboard. It just sounds like it's got some groove. And that's the whole point. So I hope that seeing this in action inspires you to go and play with Beat Detective and try and experiment with the timing of your MIDI performances. So with that said, thanks again for watching this video. If you like this, come and visit me over at pttuts.com where I present close to 20 hours of Pro Tools training videos on top of illustrated tutorials, articles, downloads, and a forum. So drop by pttuts.com and I'll see you there. And in the meantime, take care. <laughs>